Hello everyone. I am Dr. Alak Udwal, and today in this video, we will be discussing on the variable affecting engine performance. So there are five different variables on which the performance of the engine depends mainly. The first one is compression ratio. What is this? We have seen that from auto cycle efficiency or from diesel cycle efficiency that the compression ratio increases the thermal efficiency of the engine. As the compression ratio of the engine increases, the thermal efficiency of the engine also increases. But it comes with certain cost. That is, with increasing compression ratio, the temperature and pressure inside the engine also increases, which results in origin of different type of losses or can increase the friction loss of the engine. Again, we, uh, once the compression ratio increases beyond a certain limit in SI engine, what will happen? The SI engine starts detonating. And that is a very serious problem of engine. So for better performance, there is certain limit of compression ratio and we cannot go beyond the compression ratio. So this is one important factor on which the engine performance uh, depends. It increases the efficiency, thermal efficiency of the engine, but because of certain limit, we cannot increase the compression ratio beyond a certain limit. Next is air fuel ratio. We have three types of air fuel ratio. First is stoichiometric, in which exact amount of air is supplied with given fuel so that complete burning of fuel took place. Another is lean mixture, where the quantity of air is more, and another one is rich mixture, where the quantity of air is less than the requirement. So for economic running, when we want to do economic running, we are used to supply a lean mixture so that the fuel quantity will go less into the combustion chamber. And if we want maximum power or acceleration during our engine operation, we have to give rich mixture. Okay. So depending upon the requirement, we can vary the air fuel ratio in the engine. So the performance of the engine depends upon air fuel ratio in this in this way. Next is rate of combustion and ignition timing. See, in case of SI engine, what is happening? The ignition timing can be adjusted to provide combustion rate such that the maximum power of the cycle will took place at the beginning of power stroke. Otherwise, if the maximum power is taking place when the piston is coming down from TDC to VDC and it already over half of the distance, it is of not much use for us. So <clears throat> the ignition timing is adjusted so that there will be a maximum power will took place when the piston is just starting to move from TDC to BDC or when the power stroke is about to start. Whereas in case of CI engine, the fuel injection is so timed that it provides half the total pressure rise during combustion almost near the TDC. Because if there will be a more pressure rise when the piston is at TDC and it is about to start its journey from TDC to BDC or a power stroke, we can get maximum power output from the engine. So this is how the rate of combustion and ignition timing is adjusted so to get the maximum power out. Another is engine speed. See, with increase in engine speed, the mass of air that is coming inside the combustion chamber increases. It increases the power out. So with increase in its engine speed, the power output of the engine can be increased. But again, it comes with a cost that this also increases the frictional losses. Okay, so frictional power goes on increasing when we increase the speed of the engine. So there is the upper limit beyond which we cannot increase the speed of the engine so that we can get minimum friction power because again, see, when we increase the speed, the brake power will be increasing. Overall, the brake power will increase, but it will harm the engine component. Next is mass of intake charge or supercharging of engine. Okay. We have already discussed that higher mass flow rate increases the power output. How it create better volumetric efficiency and thus with higher volumetric efficiency, the power output of the engine increases. Again, mass flow rate can also be increased by supercharging. It is a phenomena where we can supply large quantity of air or large quantity of charge inside the combustion chamber. But in case of SI engine, if we do supercharging or we supply more charge into the combustion chamber, what will happen? There is a phenomena of detonation or knocking may took place, which is not required. Whereas in case of CI engine, the supercharging uh, actually helps the engine to do proper burning of fuel and to run smooth. 
So supercharging can be done in CI engine for the betterment. And if you go beyond certain limit in SI engine, it will create, it will not be helpful. It, uh, it starts, the engine starts to do it. So how to improve the if, uh, engine performance? What are the methods of improving engine performance? So first, we have seen that by increasing the mass flow rate in the engine, the power output will be increased. Supercharging is one method where we can increase the power output by uh, inducting more charge inside the combustion chamber. <clears throat> if we increase the diameter of the piston, the overall swept volume will increase and it will increase the power output of the engine. Higher calorific value of fuel. If you use high quality of fuel whose calorific value is more, then the engine performance will definitely go up. Next, with increase in engine speed that we have seen, we can increase the power output of the engine. For increasing the thermal efficiency and power output, we can increase high compression ratio engine. But again, we have seen that when we increase the compression ratio of the engine, there will be other losses like frictional loss or the detonation may take place. Use of fuel additives or gas, exhaust gas circulation like in turbocharging so that we can utilize the uh, unuseful energy of the engine. And the important thing is how to reduce the losses of heat. If we can convert, if we can able to reduce the losses uh, that is happening in the engine, we can increase the power output of the engine. So these are the various methods of improving the engine performance. Thank you.